so we're with Debbie right now, who uh, just tried to volunteer. Why don't, why don't you tell us what happened? Uh, well, my daughter Kristen and I came down this morning to volunteer our services to the Humane Society and to Kokua Care, who are confiscating the animals from the bush. And we came down to volunteer our services. They were rude to us. They shunned us. They wouldn't accept our help. So that's why we're over here trying to solicit help from anyone who will take our help to help this problem and, that's going on right now. And, and what services did you try to offer them? Tick removal, haircuts, uh, toenail cutting when the Humane Society confiscates the animals. Uh, we wanted to cut the dog's hair, if any, pre make them presentable so they're adoptable, so they're not euthanized. Um, we don't do any veterinary care, but we do all the, like, doggy spa things, let the dog feel good about itself, get a good home. But they didn't want our help. They wouldn't barely talk to us. I had to force them to talk to me. They told me I could not come past the, the yellow tape. They were already coordinated, and, you know, sorry about your luck, Chuck. So we came down here to volunteer for free, and they wouldn't even speak to us, barely. They were really rude. And I asked the lady, why are you guys being so rude? And they said, we've already got our co services contracted out for the day, so we've already got it coordinated, so, you know, see you later. Do you believe that they have any interest in actually getting these animals adopted? If they were out here for free, maybe. I don't think so. Uh, if they um, wanted to get the animals adopted, they would have accepted our services to clean them up, give them a bath, ticks, clean the ears, cut the nails, whatever possibly we could do to help them out to get a home because when you have an animal that's all matted and dirty and it's in the back of a cage, you're, not, you're just going to pass it by because it doesn't feel good about itself anyway. It's all dirty and dogs have feelings too. When you clean them up and they're all happy, if you've ever taken your dog to the groomer, you know how your dog acts when he comes home from the groomer. And we were going to do this all for free. And, so they, and they denied it. They wouldn't even let us help at all. This is the first time you've seen this happen. This is the first time I came down and volunteered like this. But now the other shelter that was in Kali Loa when they cleaned out Miley Point, they did accept our help. The, um, what's the name of that place? The ones that sells them for like $400 a dog <laughs> once they uh -huh. get them. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, yeah, they did accept our help, but the Humane Society and Cocoon Care would not accept our help. Yeah. Great. Thank I did you. give them my phone number, so, okay. you know, that's all I have to say that. If they were interested in, in doing something for the animals besides confiscating them, they would have accepted our free help. Absolutely. Okay, we'll come back. We're uh, going to go we ahead and move out with HPD. So we'll, we'll come back when there's more.